Well, here we are, January 8th, and January 1st, the new sets had released. So I went ahead and tried to get a couple of them. Now, there were some problems with the store. I think there's typically problems with the store. I uh, couldn't even add things to my cart. So I couldn't check out. Next morning, I saw that I had 13 of everything in my cart, which of course it wouldn't let me check out because I had too many. Even removing at that point, the next day, it was difficult. Now is the first because, of course, I was up New Year's Eve, so I went ahead and checked Lego.com right at midnight. Well, finally got everything out of my cart, and by that time, some of the sets I was looking for were already out of stock. But went ahead and ordered, and today, all of the sets came in. So let's take a look at what I got. So first off, nice big old box here. Well, not big old box, eh, decent size though. Oh, hello, Mr. Kitty Cat. You are saying hello, because we are opening a box, aren't we? So you have to be involved. You're gonna, you're gonna stand on the box. Well, I'm sure, yeah, he actually just tried to open it. Here, let's, let's open it up for you. Let's open it up for everybody, huh? Okay, we'll be really careful. Oh, yeah skittish of noises and stuff and things moving towards him. He's fine though. You come back up. Well. <clears throat> we'll just cut that so it doesn't make a loud of a noise. There we go. All right. Here we go. Hopefully everything I ordered is here. Uh, and so first off, uh, the first thing I saw was if you ordered uh, a certain amount, you got free a fan-created design of this nice little car here. So very happy that came along. You're helping. Also got the brick heads and I got the cats that just got released. So this should be pretty cool. Uh, I believe my wife will probably put this together and I'm hoping to convince her to continue time-lapsing it. So that will be a future video. Well, this will be a little loud. Let's get some packing material stuff to get out of the way. Uh, also for her, I got uh, the Harry Potter students minifigures. So this one should be pretty fun for her. Um, I did get this, however, because she was building Hogwarts Castle. But of course, Hogwarts Castle doesn't use minifigures in it, it uses the micro figures in it. So I didn't know that, but nonetheless, she'll have four students that she can add to her collection. Uh, and per, a personal favorite of mine, is this. This is set 42122, and this is the Jeep Rubicon. This should be a fun um, Technic set. Let's get that box out of the way. Fun little Technic set. Uh, it's not super complex. Uh, what's to say 665 pieces here. Uh, very cool little set though. Um, Based off of some of the things that I see in this, this is loosely based off of the newest version of the Rubicon, uh, especially based off, uh, I say that because of the reference picture here they have. This reference picture is the newest model of the Jeep, uh, which is uh, known as the Jeep JL, uh, which just replaced uh, just a few years ago, the Jeep JK. So it was a rather recent thing that ha had happened. So it's based off the newer one. Uh, it's interesting that they do show the Jeep uh, with articulation here, which is you know moving the uh, tires up and down as it goes over obstacles. So I'll be very interested to see how that looks as well. So that will be a fun build coming up. It's got a winch. Uh, they do show some things on the back, you know, winch, the hood going up, uh, uh, the doors opening and closing. It's open top as it should be as a Jeep, so that's fantastic. So 
definitely look forward to doing that. Actually, interesting that they have on the top the, the specs of the actual Jeep, you know, uh, 2,427 kilos, uh, V6 Pentastar 3.6 liter engine, the Rock Track four wheel drive. So that's very fun that they put the actual Jeep Wrangler real life specs on there as well. So very cool technique. Uh, looking at the fan made car, that's very cool. It looks almost like it's got some, a little bit of Chevy type, uh, Chevrolet type styling in it. You need to read the box, Mr. Kitty. Um, so that's very cool, very Chevy-like there. The sides, uh, they, they used what looks like the uh, surfboard brick. And with the surfboard brick, that kind of makes it look uh, almost like a Corvette side, like the early Corvettes. So there's a couple styling off that. A little bit of Cadillac styling too, with the, the very back, almost fin type area around the, you know, kind of around the tail lights in the back. And uh, when I do the video, I'll, I'll put some larger pictures uh, probably up in that corner. I'm gonna guess, watch, I'll put it up in that corner just because there's more room. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's 189 pieces, set 40448. They do not put any fictional car specifications on here, uh, kind of like they put the real Jeep Wrangler specifications. It does come with two minifigures. Uh, comes with, um, looks like a blonde woman with purple sunglasses and purple pants and a black leather jacket. Very similar to like Grease, the movie, actually. Um, and then a gentleman in a Letterman jacket. So, uh, also wearing glasses. So that should be very interesting to put together. Again, future video build. Uh, the Brickhead's Cats is set 40441. Uh, this is the Cats version. They also have uh, the dogs as well. Uh, 250 pieces. So that should be a very fun little, uh, it's, it's both the short hair cat, uh, which, uh, Looks like it's 120 pieces for the short hair cat, and the kitten is 121 pieces. So the kitten being smaller still has an extra piece. I think it's uh, some of the cute little bricks that they have here are definitely the whiskers, uh, looking similar possibly to a bush type or grass type brick from before, but gray in this case instead of green. And they got a nice little um, like cat bed that they sit in. Uh, it's got a little kind of, I don't want to say um, label, but more like, almost like a cat collar, like the little uh, medallions put on the cat collar, but it's on the bed. It's got little fishes on there. Uh, it does show uh, for the dogs, they have, uh, you know, little bones on there in their little red uh, bed. So the dogs is a fun little set that you can do as well. It uh, looks like a little bit less pieces for them, 118 for looks like the dog and like 119 for the puppy. Uh, looks like that that is set for 0440 for the dogs, as opposed to the cats, the short hair cats being 40441. And actually for the actual size, uh, it does show off that special block used for the whiskers. And uh, just going back to the Harry Potter students, it's 53 pieces. Uh, if I remember correctly, you get uh, Harry Potter. Uh, and they have special pieces like uh, a map, the map of the, that they used to see where everybody was going. You have a book, a lantern, and an apple. And I'm trying to see the listing of minifigures here. And, oh, there we go. Harry Potter, Draco Malfoy, uh, Hannah Abbott, and Cho Chang. So that's very cool. Got four students, uh, various 
items, including a, it looks like a bookshelf that you can create with it as well. That's down here in the corner. We'll get a good picture up of that later. And even though that they're not micro figures, which would fit in her Harry Potter's castle, still nonetheless, I am sure that she will continue to collect Harry Potter sets. I know Diagon Alley is probably number one on her list. So uh, the minifigures will come in handy elsewhere. Now, that is not all. That was what was in that box. A box did come earlier that had a very special set to me, something that I have been looking to get for a while. That's right, the Millennium Falcon. But wait, we said sets are released on the first. Yes, I'm talking about the Micro Fighter, the new version of the Micro Fighter, 75295, the new Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter. It's got Han Solo, of course, as a minifigure, which is your example size. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm interested to see. This is the first Micro Fighter I had, so I haven't had the uh, earlier Millennium Falcon Micro Fighters. But I'll still be interested in putting this together. 101 pieces. So that is a very nice little quick build. I'll be doing a video of that, of course. Now, that is not all. Like I said, one of the sets that I want to get was sold out. As were several sets that day. So, called around a little bit and found a local store that had it. So, I've had this set longer than the box that got delivered today, but I figured I'd save it because all these sets I intended to get around the same time. So that set that I got down here is Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. Now, this is not the most detailed X-Wing Fighter. They have sets with more pieces. Uh, this is set 75301. Luke Skywalker's X-Wing Fighter. It's only 474 pieces. I mean, to give an idea, you know, the cats were, uh, you know, 200, 250 pieces. So uh, the cats have even more than half the number of pieces that are in this set. Nonetheless, you still get Luke Skywalker uh, in his orange jumpsuit. You got Princess Leia in her more princess attire. Um, and you get R2-D2. That's a great little mini right there, let me tell you. Uh, and you also get what uh, looks like one of the generals. I'm, uh, I'm not seeing where he's listed right now, but uh, another gentleman as well. It uh, does have the action where the X-Wing foils will lift up. And this does have the action where you have the uh, you know loadable uh, laser bolts that, uh, in theory, shoot out. So, very excited to do this one. Uh, this is the first um, of the larger Star Wars sets I got. Really, these are the first sets that I've gotten since I was a child, in all reality. Just got started back into this. Uh, so these are some fun little sets. I will be doing videos on these. And don't know which one I'm starting with. Possibly the TIE Fighter. Uh, excuse me, the, the X-Wing Fighter. TIE Fighter is also sold out, by the way. Uh, the new TIE Fighter. Um, so I might be starting with this one. I might not. I don't know. Right now, I'm still figuring out how to do the videos. I am doing the video right now, the time lapse of my wife building Hogwarts Castle. So I'm doing a lot of learning there and determining the best way to do things. Uh, and the nice thing is, is that the individual photos are extremely high res. So I'm hoping that what we're going to get here is 4K video. And for the time lapse. And then after that, what I'm going to need to do is do a 4K video flyby of the models and try to get some different angles and uh, might even be able to like, I don't know if I'm going to do dioramas and get a nice, you know, backdrop or something, but 
Who knows, I might put them up against a green screen so I can put an interesting backdrop behind them. Again, these are just ideas. If you have thoughts on what you would like to see, feel free to put it down in the comments below. Really would like to hear from you. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up. It's gonna help me. If I can build this channel enough, maybe I can continue doing things like this and showing you these interesting sets. I wanna be able to get some sets, both for myself to build, but also for you, the viewer, so that you can see what they're gonna look like, how big they are, the complexity of them, so that you can make an informed decision on which sets that you wanna build or buy for someone in your life. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more content like this. That bell's there if you want notification, but I'm not gonna push it. Uh, that's a pun there, isn't it? Oh my goodness, you're going to hear. Uh, hopefully we'll keep the puns down. But nonetheless, thank you very much for watching this long. And watch out for those build videos coming up. And watch for the future videos where we unbox a couple of these of the larger sets. And future purchases. Thank you very much for your time.